Hello guys, uh, someone on YouTube requested me that how to get this product image from this product page. Okay, so I would like to show you how we can do that. First, uh, I will show that how you can get an image from this image link. So if I click on that image and open image new tab. So this is basically the image link. Okay, and if I want to get the image, so I click here. So I import the URL lib dot request module and I call the URL retrieve method which stores the image from this location in my folder as image.jpg. So let me execute this code. So as you can see, this image has been downloaded to my local folder. All right. So now I would try to implement in our product.py file. So in product.py, I would try to get the URLs, which would eventually help me to get these images. So the plan is to get this URL for each product page and store it in our data JSON file or product JSON file. All right, so let's do that. So I get inside products.yml and added this image CSS. So let me explain how did I get that. So if I go to this product page and I click on selector gadget to get the CSS ID. So I click here and click on that and it shows me this image tag wrapper ID. So that is what I did here basically. I put this CSS image tag wrapper and inside that I have the IMG source and I mentioned I want the attribute and the attribute is data a dynamic image because this image is of dynamic nature and it keeps changing. Okay, so to get this particular image, I have to mention the attribute data a dynamic image. All right, so now I will check after running this product.py code how it looks like. So in products.yml, I removed all of these attributes which I previously had. So you can check my previous video which I have provided the link down below where I have explained that how to get the product details from Amazon products page. All right, now what I would do is that run this product py and let me check how the links look like so if i go to the product output i see that images has been received so let me copy this output here okay so i would take only one of this because this is a different version or pixel version of the same image so I take the first one, which is of highest resolution, 583 by 679. So I click here and check how it looks like. Okay. All right. So if I click on this image, it would open. So that's all I need. Now the question comes, this images is in very weird format. Like you see, the images are in this format it's like a string but with so many stuff so how can i get rid of all of the stuffs and extract this particular file path so i will show you that okay so if i split based on this the first element would be this so i would get everything before this so like that so I did that and take the first element basically. Okay. And now it's easy. I just need to get rid of this two. So this two can be again split like that. The good thing is that it is a string. So we can use this split function or eventually would have converted into string even if it was not and i split it based on this and get the first element which is basically the right of this that is this 
let me see how it looks like all right so that is all i need to get the image into my local hard disk so i'll just use this in my actual code so i go to the products or pui and i know that this it has been tagged under this images so the value i would modify here okay so if data then i say data images equal this and what is this this is basically data images so if i do that let me check how our output file image link looks like so i go to the product output and i copy again this thing here all right so you can see this image look the way we want so this is it perfect now we can easily get the image stored at this particular location it's not something difficult so i'll just import the url dot request module and i would use the url retrieve function so let me copy this okay so i would just do it at the end so i can do it here as well so here url retrieve and i provide this as data.images because this is the web link of that image and I can save it let's say processor.jpg so I run it all right so here is my processor.jpg which has been retrieved after I run this product.py I also have the information the name and everything uh, i have also the information name and the image link here you can also put other information like product series item model number etc for which you have to watch my previous video where i have explained these things in details and here you get this processor.jpg image as well along with the product information perfect so i hope uh, it uh, helps you to get all the product images sequentially but i would like to tell you that it's better to create folder for each product so for this product i would better create a folder called images and inside this folder i can create item one and like that you can scale this thing best on a simple python program or script where you would like to put all of the products images in individual folder of that product name so that you can also retrieve it in a structured way okay so that is which you can implement very easily and i hope that you like this video and if it adds any value to your data science education please do not forget to subscribe to my channel Happy learning. So you can download this code from my GitHub repository scrape processor. Inside that I have YouTube, scrape images and all the image files are here. And this is the product.py, which is the code, which basically I changed. And you can see the retrieved image, which is basically processor.jpg in this case.